Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and it is the 1st of December which means it is time for a new sheet load of cards. I hope you'll stick around, see what the sketch looks like this month, see the first set of cards I made using it, and find out how you can download the printable for free if you're a subscriber to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Happy sheet load of cards day. I'm super excited to be here today with the newest sheet load of cards, December 2021. Can you believe the year is almost over? If you're new to my channel and you don't know what sheet load of cards is, I'll tell you quickly before we get started. Each month I like to stop by with a free printable for my subscribers that shares with you a new sketch for the month and then a way to cut your paper and cardstock to make the most of it and get a sheet load of cards. This is usually anywhere between 6 to 12 cards depending on the sketch and how many pieces of paper you need. Today I'll be sharing a look at the sketch, show you the supplies I used, and show you that first set. Then at the end of the video I'll tell you how to download the file. Then tomorrow I'm going to be back to show you how I made that first set and my team of collaborators will be joining me on their YouTube channels, Instagram accounts, and blogs and show you what they've created. Now if you haven't already subscribed to or followed all of them, they are linked in that description box below so you can go do that now and get ready for tomorrow. I know that I always love to hop along and see what everyone has created. Are you ready to see this month's sketch? The December 2021 sheet load of cards will make nine landscape A2 cards if you follow the supplies needed and the cutting guides. As always, if you are inspired to play along and make cards of your own, I have some hashtags up here in the upper right that I would love for you to use either here if you make a video or over on Instagram if you share a photo. There is a third way that you can show us your sheet load, and that is by sending in a card for my end of the month video. Now, all of the instructions on how to share it on YouTube, Instagram, or via mail are in a video that I have linked in the description box below called New Show Us Your Sheet Load Guidelines. I would love to see what you create. For supplies this month, you'll need three coordinating 12 by 12 pattern papers three sheets of solid cardstock for matting, and then five solid cardstocks for card bases. Now keep in mind, this is going to make you 10 card bases, so you'll just save that 10th one for a future project. Now if you like the sketch, but you don't necessarily want to make a sheet load, I always give the single dimensions right here so you can cut each of these pieces out and still make a card. And even if you make a single one and share it, I would love to see that as well. At the bottom of this page, I also give you some alternatives, whether that is changing the size and shape of your sentiment piece, moving these pieces around just to fit on the front of the card somewhere, or using foam tape so you can have different levels. On the second page of the printable, I have the cutting guides where I show you how to cut each of your 12 by 12 pattern papers and your card stocks. Now I do want to point out today, if you're going to go ahead and get started, the card stock with the ovals for the front, it is a pretty tight fit. So if your oval isn't exactly the same size, or maybe you're going to use a bigger circle, you might need to get out one more piece of cardstock, or hey, this is also a great time to use up some of those scraps of cardstock you have waiting to be used. A couple new things on this month's printable is I have my Instagram account down here on the bottom right. If you don't already follow me on Instagram and you hang out over there, I would love for you to follow me. I do have a direct link at the bottom of my description box. Then over here on the left, 
I have find out how to show us your sheet load and I have a bit.ly link that you can either type in or if you have the PDF pulled up on screen, you should be able to click on that and then go to that video where it gives you all of the details on how to play along. Let's go ahead and take a look at the main products that I use for this month's cards. For my ovals, I got out my Spellbinders Oval Nest Abilities in Regular and Scallop. And I have a feeling I am missing one here, but I use this size right here and it's almost exactly what I needed. But again, you can use a different shape or a different size. I grabbed three pieces of light pink cardstock for my mats. Then for my pattern papers, I'll be using some sheets from the Splendor Collection from My Mind's Eye. This was probably a scrapbook page kit that I got it Tuesday morning, and I'm finally getting it out to use it. You'll see that for the cards, I use these three pieces, and then for my sentiment oval, I actually use the open area over here. I love this piece with the florals on the edge, but it really didn't fit with this month's cutting guide. The kit also came with some great die cut stickers, so I use these as accents on my cards. Speaking of cards, let's go ahead and take a look at my first set. Yes, I am on my way to 25K, and I'm hoping with a little help from you that we can make this happen, maybe even by the end of 2021. I would love for you to share my channel with your crafty friends, crafty family members, crafty neighbors, crafty coworkers, even just a random shopper in your local scrapbook or stamp store. You can let them know about my channel, and if they're interested in subscribing, that will help me hit that 25K. I hope you enjoyed that little look at my first set of cards using the December 2021 sheet load of cards. Now I'll tell you how you can download the printable for free. As always, I do ask that you are a subscriber to my channel. It's quick, it's easy, it's free. If you're not already a subscriber, just click on that button below this video. And hey, while you're there, if you wanna click on that bell for notifications, that would be great too. I do just go on the honor system though. I don't make you email me with any kind of proof or for a link. So please, before you click on the PDF file, which I will tell you where that link is here in just a second, make sure that you're subscribed. You will find this month's link down in the description box right above my PO address. You can click on that and download it and print it, or you can just click on it and view it on screen while you create. And even though mine is printed in color, this will work just great in black and white as well. It will say under the link to watch the video for the password, but you watching the video to this point is your password. None will be needed for the file. Thank you so much for stopping by, and until my next video, which will be the process, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above, and if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.